I'm Maki Star from Japan This. I'm a history fan. Today we're on the grounds of Edo Castle. We're on the actual castle grounds right now as I speak. You can see part of it behind me in the background. Today we are going to look at a place called Nijubashi, a double bridge. Let's go. So, right now we are in the area called Nijubashi. Nijubashi is made of two words. Niju, which means double, and Hashi, which means bridge. So you can see behind me, there is a bridge. This bridge is generally called Niju Bashi. This bridge's name is actually not Niju Bashi. It's actually Seimon Ishibashi, which means the main stone bridge. Behind it is a another bridge called the Seimon Tetsubashi, the main iron bridge. Now there's a couple of stories why this bridge is called Nijubashi, double bridge. The first story is that when you look at it from a certain angle, you can see the stone bridge and the iron bridge, and it looks like there are actually two bridges. The second story is that when you look at the stone bridge reflected in the moat underneath it, it looks like a pair of glasses. It actually looks like two bridges. Um, one of the nicknames that some old people in Tokyo have for that bridge is actually Meganebashi, the glasses bridge, because it looks like a pair of glasses. However, both of these stories are bullshit. In the Edo period, there were also two bridges here, but they weren't made of stone and they weren't made of iron. They were made of wood. All Edo period bridges were made of wood. So, the stone bridge was actually called Nishinomaru Otemi, which means the eastern compound main gate. And the bridge behind me was called Nishinomaru Keijobashi, which means the eastern compound bridge where you get off of your horses and then walk them in. So today, many people call the stone bridge Nijubashi, double bridge. But actually, in the Edo period, people called the bridge behind me the double bridge because Tokugawa Hidetada, the second shogun, built a bridge here with a very unique design. This bridge actually had two levels, two tiers, and because of that, it was totally unique in the city of Edo, and it was called a double bridge. So, in conclusion, this stone bridge behind me is the bridge that everyone in Tokyo seems to think is Nijubashi. Everyone calls that bridge Nijubashi. However, the truth is, the real double bridge is the stone bridge behind it. That is the real Nijubashi. And now you know. Okay, history fans, thanks for watching. If you want to know more, uh, please subscribe to this channel or follow the links below. Um, I really would appreciate it if you'd subscribe because I can keep churning out more history videos like this for you. Peace. So we hit our first obstacle, uh, not even five minutes into shooting at Nijubashi. Some security guard came over and was like, y'all can't be shooting here, man. And we're like, this is just for a blog, yo. And he was like, what's a blog? Um, so anyways, he said, you don't have the fucking paperwork. So we went over to the office. We got the fucking paperwork because we're going to make this happen. We're going to go back, talk to the security guard, we're calling him Terry, and uh, he's gonna let us do this. Nothing is going to stop us.